Well everybody, here's an old familiar site for me, the log yard, there's not a log in it, that's where our office used to be down there. We're here um, unloading ductile steel sewerage pipes off the ship down the port. There's the forklift over there and we've got some bloody, we've got a mobile lighting tower over there, look at that how bright that is, it's freaking bright, so it's like a football stadium. Just got back to the port for my second load and it's pissing down rain as you can see everything's wet uh, just what we didn't need means having to put a raincoat on but anyway shit happens we're here unloading this vessel with ductile steel pipes uh, sewage pipes as, as you saw and carting them off to the old log yard in the middle of the night in the pouring rain so what fun we're having lighting tower over there, thankfully I'm on this side of it still and look at the area that lights up like a bloody football stadium as I said, it's unreal very very bright, we should have plenty of light we just had a tiny little shower of rain and even just that is enough to start making the ground all boggy and it's sinking and making plenty of wheel tracks that's for sure that steady portable stadium lighting certainly lights things up the old truck's all lit up like a bloody Christmas tree and there's uh, Gary over there in the Mac with Joss helping him unload. Now as I said this stuff we're carting is ductile steel sewerage pipe and when I was in Canada I actually got to see how they make this stuff. It's unreal, it's like a big drum, it's like a big mould that spins like a centrifuge and they actually spray liquid molten metal into the drum and, it, and as it spins around it flings it out like it sprays it up onto the wall of the mould and it flings it around um, and they just go back as the forwards until they've got enough layers, like they've got the pipe as thick as they want sort of thing. And then it's sprayed with uh, water to cool it uh, to a certain temperature. And then they can also spray other things like plastic or concrete or whatever in it to line them, as this one here has been. See, these are all lined with like uh, concrete sort of thing, uh, a type of plaster. And then a set of jaws grabs it on the lip here and just extracts it from the mould and it's still fucking very, very hot, probably around about four or five hundred degrees Celsius and then it rolls away uh, to cool and that's how they're actually made. Uh, very, very quick. They can make one of these pipes in around about a minute. That's how fast it happens. It's just unbelievable to see. Well, before I go back down the port, I thought I'd get a quick video to show you the guys unloading me. Oh, I've got a headlight out at the moment. Here they are unloading the pipe with the forklift and just putting it straight on the ground. Well, here we are again, guys. It's Sunday night, Easter Sunday, back at the port. And uh, this ship here, the Emu Arrow, is the one we're unloading. You can see it's got its own um, ship-mounted cranes or gantries that move up and down. And we're unloading this steel ductile pipe once again. There's the old Western Star over there. And there's the big crane on the ship, just about to lift out the second uh, pack for the front of the trailer. And there's another trailer up there, oh, sorry, another ship called the Tenshu Maru from Panama, which is unloading um, nickel ore to go to Yahulu. So yeah, back tonight, hopefully it won't rain like last night. Here. The round trip that we're doing, carting these um, pipes from the ship down to the, uh, um, the yard here where we're unloading them and back again, is about, uh, I don't know, maybe one and a half kilometres round trip. <laughs> so she's very, very short haul. Uh, you don't even get into high range in the gearbox. So, yeah, we're just driving. 
driving down into the old log yard, uh, as you saw. And um, tonight, this is the second night of unloading, we've moved over to the opposite back corner uh, to unload all the pipes. So, different position tonight, but that's alright. It's all good. We've got a good forklift drive tonight, he's fast, a lot faster than the bloke last night, that's for sure. And um, it makes a hell of a difference when you've got a good forklift driver, I tell you. There's those big stadium lights over there again, lighting our way so we can see what we're doing. Lights bright in the eyeballs. Here we are coming back onto berth four and berth three with the ship's moored. We're actually unloading on berth three. It was like perfect timing too. Truck's got to do one. Yeah, I know. I'm going to do the big pipes by the looks of it. The double ones, only uh, four pipes on this time, make it nice and quick. Which means I've got to do me a U turn here. Go out a bit wide here so I can get around. cranes, they're not derrick cranes, they're self-travelling um, gantry cranes and so it can um, unload itself which is pretty cool, makes things a lot easier. But uh, unfortunately this funny little head that's on the end of the crane, like on the end of the buddy cables, can only fit two slings without a spreader bar. They've got enough, only enough spreader bars for one crane so it can only lift out two pipes at a time which makes it um, well, yeah, it's going to be slow to unload the ship at this rate, that's for sure. So this is the, we're only carting four pipes out of this hatch on each truck, and in the other hatch they're carting uh, 12. So, big difference when you can only put four on each truck from here. for another morning. I'm just watching the sun rise. Well, the light come into the sky anyway. Just down here at the mouth of the Ross River. This is what I love about mornings. Love about working through to the morning. Nothing better than watching a sunrise, especially down the beach I reckon. So yeah, that's it. I only ended up doing two nights, even though this is going to continue on for probably another three nights. But um, it's Monday the 5th and uh, I'm having today off and tonight and flying out of Townsville at 5 minutes to 6 Tuesday morning flying to Brisbane to pick up a truck to drive back to Townsville again and then when I get home to Townsville I'll get in my car drive to Cairns get on another plane fly back to Brisbane again to get on a cruise ship <laughs> to go on holidays alright so let's get out of here time to go home and have a shower <laughs> 